Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to add a new copy to an existing resource that's already in the system. So, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to add five copies of the LCVP book we entered as a new resource. So, to enter new copies, we have to again go to cataloging on the left-hand side, and now we click on resources. So in front of us is a list of all resources already in the system. So we want to do a search for the particular one we want, right hand side. And this brings up this pop-up window. So I have the book in front of me, so I can just do a with the eyes again. I could just as easily have entered the title of the book in there as well and it's pulled up the SCVP book. So, we click on the number here, click on number one, and it brings up all the information in the book. Now, what we want to do is add a copy, so we click Add Copy. Now, we have to enter the barcodes for each of the book, we're, each number of the copies we're going to enter into the system. So, the first one we're going to do, the barcode can be typed in or scanned in. So, just type in that. And then, this is most important. We need to change the branch to book rental for book rental. Obviously, leave it at library if it's a library book. The collection must be book rental if it's a book that is going to be loaned to students. Or class set if it's a book that's to be left in classrooms. So, we click book rental in this case. And the resource loan category is again book rental for uh, book rental books. If it's for library, we can click on library book here. So we click on book rental and we click add. So now, this one copy has been entered into the system. But just before we save, we change the home branch to book rental. Everything else has been brought forward from the last pop-up window. As you can see, resource loan category here is book rental, collections book rental, and branches book rental. But we must make sure to click home branch as book rental. Barcode, as you can see, has been brought forward, and we just click save. So now this one copy of the book has been entered, and now we can duplicate this. So we click on if we have a number of 30 or 40 books to enter in one go, we just click duplicate copies, and this will duplicate all the information apart from the barcode. So we just type in here up to 30 barcodes and once we get the 30 barcodes it won't let us enter anymore and as I'll show you I'll just type in a few 30,001 press enter or scan and you get the idea so we go all the way down as far as 30 copies and we click create copies And it tells us here that the following copies are successfully created. So now the LCVP book has six copies in it. So one thing we must be careful of here, if an X appears beside any number, you might need to do a check. It probably means that the barcode has already been used and you just need to assign a new barcode to that book. So if we got to the situation here where we had entered 30 and we had 10 more to enter, we just click on view catalog resource which brings us back to the book we add copy again like we did the first time brings up pop-up window we enter the single one first of all changing the branch the collection and the loan category and again we press duplicate copies and this will bring us round and we can enter 30 more so you can do it 30 at a time so that's just simply how to add copies If you want to do a check or anything, you just have the window here at the bottom and you can just click on copies and you will see all the copies that you have entered in front of you.